What is going down, NVIDIA fans? Today we're going to be looking at the tail end of the year's update. A new year will be blossoming towards the very beginning of Q1 2022. We'll see what NVIDIA has to unravel. For today, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the 497.29. My name is Matt here at the McGarrett 7 channel. Today we'll be looking at patch notes and sizing up some benchmarks and seeing what exactly has changed. If you're newer to the network, you can always like, share, and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let's scroll into it. As we scroll over to the NVIDIA Reddit forums, we can see that there is some hope for new features with inside of this. One of the core things that we got to experience was the Horizon Zero Dawn, which utilizes NVIDIA's DLSS to improve the performance by up to 50%. With about 10 days on the physical board of it being out there, leave a comment down below on how your experience has been with this. On top of that, Microsoft's Flight Simulator makes the list a lot as we take a look at what has been going down. With crashes in the desktop during gameplay, on top of the purple and blue artifacting that appears inside of the ground textures in the game. On top of that, for the Supreme Command and the foreign uh, portion of the alliances that you can get into the supreme command 2 you can see that these forged inside of there if it be domestic and or foreign this command will come down to the portion of getting down to the drop and the occurred when it comes down to the mouse movement hopefully now we will be getting around the world a nice patch because that really sucks when you can't utilize your mouse on a real z note but looking on top of that situation, you can see for the desktop may stutter when he experienced extended periods of mouse cursor, which again seems like they cleaned up a lot of the mouse movement and multi monitors in the configuration for may display random black screen flickers. Now on top of that, for as far as the Sipel airing errors, you can see for the German language, the control palette will make you a nice management 3d setting in the shader cache for the default option and that should hopefully be fixed again hopefully this is a very worldly update you can definitely see that there's a ton of uh situations that are in the open issues from death loop sonic which made the list a lot of it g-sync which is always kind of being up there and some workarounds in order to kind of get it to work the advanced Yes, portion for the control panel also has some issues. Image scaling, and on top of that, more image scaling that comes down to the HDR machine requirements. So take a look at this. This will be linked down below. With taking a look at DirectX 12 in the 4K department and the brand new driver on the right, older driver on the left, and with the hardware accelerator on on the top and off on the bottom, you can see that it's very nominal. No percentage goes down a lot. And pretty much the toggling between nothing really matters. It's really almost balanced if you look at just the graphic score up there, which is the 5900 Club, except for where you see it inside of the Time Spy on the older driver with the hardware accelerator off, you may experience some issues. But leave a comment down below as we venture on into the 1080p department of DirectX 12. Now this is where you start to see a big difference, where you take a look at where the newer driver comes into play on the very bottom. And you can see the newer driver with the hardware accelerator off to be the direct portion of falling down. But again, in the adjacent portion with the hardware accelerator on with the older driver, it becomes just unbalanced as well. So. Looking at that, you can see some unbalanced CPU and GPU run-ups, but the more consistent would be the newer driver with the hardware accelerator on or off with the older driver, but it seems like with it on with the newer driver it wins. So if you install this and you're having issues and you have your hardware accelerator off, you might want to turn it on in order to get a good percentage boost of performance, roughly about 5%. Now with ray tracing on the shopping block, we can see that the newer driver with the hardware accelerator on again moves forward in a better point average. As you can see that there is about a 100 to sometime almost close to 200 drop with either the older driver in either department or the newer driver with the hardware accelerator off. Now when we take a closer look at the DirectX 11 4K, we get a better 
understanding. Now, even though the scores match up with the older driver, the hard row accelerator offer on, if you look at the closer graphic score, they're a little bit dissimilar. But to get that, it came down to a combined score of just random and a lot of luck. Now, looking on top of that for as far as the newer driver, they don't come out as close, but with the hardware accelerator on which the trend continues with that, with the newer driver seems to push out a lot more performance. So it seems like they've worked really well with Windows in order to have a tandem driver, unlike the mess that AMD has been having with Windows pushing an update that completely just tanks it or it's just bad when you have a specific driver you'd like and you're installing stuff and then out of nowhere issues come up because of a Windows driver. Surprise, surprise. As we slip into 1080p, we start noticing some extreme differences as the average score goes down with the older driver and the hardware accelerator on. So if you're having issues, it seems like the newer driver is going to take the cake. As you can see with the hardware accelerator on, it continues to accelerate with being the better graphics performer. But the older driver does not do quite well. Now, when you look at the bread and butter of Fire Strike, you can see that, yes, across the board, it seems like the newer driver doesn't win too much. And you'd probably have to toggle it off, considering that it's been the newer driver that's won across the board. But the older driver inside of this, if you're just playing 1080p and you're not playing with a lot of like added on settings, then yes, you may have to roll back and do a clean DDU, which will be linked at the very end of this video. But everyone, that pretty much wraps up where we are for today's NVIDIA update and the end of the year's update. If you're newer to the network, you can always like, share, and subscribe. It's absolutely free. It helps me out as a creator. And if you do today, who knows? Maybe as the years come down, we will see the MSRP of GPUs come down because we see a lot of cooler stuff from Intel, NVIDIA, and AMD as they get more competitive. What I hear, Intel's going to lower their MSRP and take a hit, similar to what the consoles do like Xbox and PlayStation, but again, that's just AMD technology, which is really interesting. So what's going to happen with NVIDIA? Will it become out of nowhere the blockbuster of the block? with a great MSRP, with a lot of quantity. I'll just have to subscribe to find out, and I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy, and I will see you in the near future. Take advantage of some of the videos up above. If you had a hard install and it just failed, check out some of the cleaner installs that you can get into with a DDU, as well as this the normal install throughout the UI that's basically inside of the situation, but.